Welcome back to another Drive Teams tutorial. So in this one, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Advanced Custom Fields plugin in order to set up custom fields on your WordPress website. So of course, this plugin will offer easy ways to create custom fields which can be dynamically controlled on each post or page they are being used on. Once you set up the custom fields plugin, you will be able to display those fields when you edit a page or post in Drive Architect. For that, you will need to use the dynamic feature of various elements that are compatible with custom fields. So to get started, you will first need to create and set up the custom fields on your website using the advanced custom fields plugin. And I will teach you how to do that in this tutorial. You can then follow the rest of the tutorials to even further customize your website using custom fields. To get started, we're going to first have to install and activate the advanced custom fields plugin. And for that, from your WordPress admin dashboard, hover over plugins on the left sidebar and click on add new. This will take you to the plugins section and you can search for a plugin here. And I'm going to start typing advanced custom fields. This will be the plugin right here. And to install it, you just have to click on install now. As it finishes installing, the activate button will show right here and you can right away activate the plugin by clicking on this one. So as you can see, the plugin has been successfully installed and activated and we can now move on to the next step, which is going to be to access the plugin dashboard and create our field groups and custom fields. So once you activate the plugin on the left sidebar, you will have this new section that's called custom fields and you can click on it to access the custom fields dashboard. All right, so the way this works is that you're going to have to create field groups and in those field groups, you are going to create the actual custom fields. So to get started, we're going to need to create a new field group. And for that, I'm going to click on add new here. Then, as you can see, you will be able to set up the field group as you wish. First, add the title of it. So this is the title I went for. And the next section would be to add the actual custom fields. For that, you can click on add field right here, which will open this new section with all of the details of the field. So there are basically three important things that you are required to set up for each field. And those would be the label, the name and the field type. The rest of these sections are optional, but they will allow you to customize the fields as you wish. So we're going to start by adding a label. And as you click away from this field, the field name will be automatically generated. This will have the computer version. So this is going to be lowercase and with underscores connecting the words. But this will be basically the same text that you've added here. Of course, this can be changed if you wish. But just make sure that you leave it as a single word. It doesn't have any spaces and you can, as you can see here, use underscores and dashes. So next comes the field type, which again is very important to set for the custom field as this is going to dictate what you are going to use the custom fields on in Drive Architect. So of course, to choose a field type, click on this field and you are going to be able to see all of the available custom field types here. Now scroll down to see every type available and select the one you want to use by clicking on it. So in this case, we're going to go for the basic text type. If you want to know how to set up each specific custom field type that you may need to use with Drive Architect Elements, please check out the article and tutorial we've created linked above. And that goes through each type of custom fields that you can use alongside Drive Architect. All right. So below the field type section, you will also have some more settings and options, which you can use, of course, to customize the new field in the ways that you wish. But for now, we're going to leave it as it is. When you're done here, you can click on close field to collapse this section again. So as you can see, we have set up our custom field right here. What comes next is to define a set of rules, which will determine when and where the custom fields will appear while editing posts and pages using WordPress. There are two things to remember here. If you want to apply multiple rules, you can either use the and condition or the or condition. So if you click on end here, all of the rules will have to apply to the post or page where you're showing the custom fields. So this is what end means here. But if you want to create an or based rule, 
you can use this button. So if you click on the add rule group after the or section, either this condition or the other one is applied. So this would be the difference between clicking on this button and clicking on this one. So make sure you set everything up here. You can click on this field and customize the rule. So for example, this one is going to be show this field group if the post type is equal to post. So this means, of course, that my field group is going to be shown on posts only. So if I want it to be shown on posts and pages, for example, I can click on add rule group after the or section and choose post type is equal to and here I'm going to choose page. So right now, if I access either a post or a page, I should be able to see the field group I've just created. All right. So after setting everything up here, you will have some more settings below, which you can check out if you wish. All you have to do is publish the field group. And for that, click on the publish button right here. So once you do that, if you go to the field groups section of ACF, you will see that this field group will allow you to actually edit it, duplicate it, delete it or clone it. So you can really customize this field groups as you wish. All right. So we've created the field group. We have a custom field inside it. The last thing would be to assign values to the fields for each specific post or page on which you will want the fields and their values to appear. This is very important and also essential because it will allow you to assign different values when the same custom field is used on different posts or pages. Moreover, this way, the actual content of the custom fields will become dynamic. So it will change based on which post or page the custom field is displayed or used on. I'm going to go ahead and assign a value for one of my pages. And for that, I'm going to access the pages section from the left sidebar of my WordPress admin dashboard. I'm going to then hover over the page that I want to assign the value to and click on the edit option. This should be the edit and not the edit with Drive Architect option. So be careful here. All right. So once you open the WordPress editor, if the page or post meets the rules of the field group, you will be able to see every custom field that has been added to the respective group below the editing options of this post or page. So if we scroll down here, I'm going to go past the Yoast SEO options. And as you can see, we arrive to the field group called email addresses, the one that I've just created. And below it, we're going to see the official email address field, which is the actual custom field I've added to this field group. What you need to do now is assign a custom value for each of the custom fields that you've created. I only have one, so I'm going to assign my official email address here. Please remember that each type of custom field will have different ways in which you can assign values to them. This one was a text type of field, so I was just able to write in my text. But if you're using an image type of custom field, you will have to upload an image. If you use a percentage or number, you will have to enter a number and so on. After you have completed this field, you can go ahead and update the page if it was published or publish it if you want to publish it right now. Since my page was published, I'm just going to hit update. So the page has been updated. The custom field value has been added to this page in particular. But please keep in mind that these values will be available only for the posts or pages you have assigned them to. You will have to repeat these steps for each post or page you will want to use the custom fields on. So now if we go ahead and launch Thrive Architect on this page, we will see how we can use this custom field. We have created another tutorial that starts from the last step that I've showed you, which is assigning a custom field value to a page or post and continues in Drive Architect. So please check that one out if you want detailed information about what I'm going to show you right now. For the time being, I'm briefly going to show you how you can use the custom field we have just assigned to this page. So for example, let's add a text element to this page like so. And I just typed a random text. So write an email to our official email address here. And for this part of the text, I'm going to go to the dynamic feature section of Tribe Architect, which is found right here on the top panel. Once you click on the option, the dynamic text pop up will open. Click on this field and we're going to go for the custom fields option. Once you select it, the field section will appear right here and you can choose the custom field that you wish to add. Since I only have one text custom field type, this will be the only one showing here. So I'm going to select that one and click on insert. 
Now, of course, if you have set up multiple text types of custom fields, they will all appear in this list. As you can see, once I hit insert, the text has been populated with the custom field that I have assigned to this page. So this was briefly how to get started with the advanced custom fields plugin on your WordPress site while using Triumph Architect. I really hope this tutorial helped you understand the basics and how to get started using this plugin and be sure to continue watching the rest of the tutorials we've created about the advanced custom fields plugin. Mm -hmm.